Okay, so Unit 5, Lesson 4. And in this lesson, we're going to take a little bit of a break from some of the congruence. We're going to talk about equilateral and isosceles triangles. So we should already know equilateral triangles are triangles with all four sides being the same. Isosceles triangles are a little different. Isosceles triangles are triangles where the triangle has at least two congruent sides. So when an isosceles triangle has exactly two congruent sides, we call those sides the legs. So the congruent sides of an isosceles triangle are called the legs. The angle formed by those legs is called this vertex angle. And then the third side is the base, meaning the two angles by the base are the base angles. Okay, So the main thing with an isosceles triangle is this base angles theorem states if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite from them are congruent. Meaning, if I have these AB and AC congruent, that means B is congruent to C. Because C is across from this side, opposite from this side, and B is opposite from that side. So those two angles are congruent in the isosceles triangle. So in example one, we are just going to get some practice using that base angles theorem. So I'm giving you different situations. So if I say NJ and NM are congruent, NJ is here, NM is here. So which angles are congruent? I would say NMJ, which would be this angle right here, and then NJM, which would be this angle right here. Because I'm making a triangle out of the, basically the biggest triangle here, these two angles, J and M, are the base angles. But I'm going to be a little specific, more specific on how I name those angles. Okay? So, in the next part, if LM and LN, so LM, LN, these two sides are congruent. We look at the sides that are opposite from them, or the angles, sorry, that are opposite from them. The angle opposite from LN, we could say N, M, I mean, M as in monkey, <laughs> but really I'd name that LMN, just to be specific. And then right here would be N, but I would just name that LNM, because it's opposite, okay? It's opposite from the congruent side. That's how we say which angles are congruent in an isosceles triangle, the base angles, the angles opposite from the congruent sides, okay? So what I'd like you to do next is I'd like you to take a minute to pause the video and decide which sides are congruent now from the given congruent angles. So pause the video for a few seconds, answer those two questions, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your answers with me. Okay, so for number three, I got NK and NM are congruent, and I'm gonna show you why I came to that conclusion. NKM, I'm going to mark first. NKM is this angle right here. NMK is this angle right here. So we look for the sides that are opposite from them. The, the side opposite from the first angle, NM. The side opposite from the other angle, NK. So that's why I came to that conclusion of those two sides being congruent. LJN, LNJ. LJN would be this angle. LNJ would be this angle. So if I'm thinking opposite, would be LN, opposite, LJ. So that's why LN and LJ would be congruent in that situation. So moving ahead, talking about the base angles theorem, like kind of playing off of that, if a triangle is equilateral, then it's equiangular. So if all three sides of a triangle are congruent, that means all three angles are also congruent. We can assume that. So if you're given all three angles are the same, you can assume all three sides are the same. 